To be familiar with the treatment of hypertension is very, very important. You will definitely see many cases in your practice and in your clinical exams. Now, hypertension can either be just hypertension alone, and this is known as primary or essential hypertension, or can be secondary or associated with other causes, such as heart failure, diabetes, asthma, and pregnancy. If the patient has essential hypertension, which is hypertension without any known causes, then the best treatment is thiazide diuretics, ACE inhibitors and ARBs, and calcium channel blockers. If the patient has hypertension with heart failure, we have to consider medications that decreases the blood pressure and decreases the load of the heart, either by directly acting on the heart or by decreasing the blood volume. So the first line are diuretics, and then we can use either ACE inhibitors or ARBs, aldosterone antagonists, or beta blockers. Beta blockers are only used if the patient has compensated heart failure. If they have decompensated heart failure, they can be used in certain scenarios, although with high caution. But they are absolutely contraindicated if the patient has cardiogenic shock. And if the patient has hypertension with diabetes, we can use some medications that decrease the blood pressure and also have some favorable effects on the kidneys, like ACE inhibitors and ARBs. Both of these classes, and mainly ACE inhibitors, protect the kidneys and decrease proteinuria. We can also use calcium channel blockers, thiazide diuretics, or beta blockers. Keep in mind, beta blockers can mask the effects of hypoglycemia. If a patient is hypoglycemic, they will be lethargic or more slow. And if a patient is taking beta blockers, they will essentially have the same symptoms. So it might be difficult to differentiate between the two. If the patient has hypertension with asthma, we can use ARBs, but not ACE inhibitors. Because asthmatic patients can have some cough, and patients taking ACE inhibitors will also have some cough. And if an asthmatic patient has cough, it is very important to know the cause of the cough. We can use also calcium channel blockers, thiazide diuretics, and sometimes cardioselective beta blockers. We say cardioselective because the non-selective beta blockers can cause bronchospasm. And finally, if a patient is hypertensive and pregnant, we can only use one of four medications, either nifedipine, methyl dopa, labetalol, or hydralazine. It's very important to be familiar with the treatment of hypertension. You will definitely get many cases in your exam, and you will see many, many cases in your practice. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.